CBC's Morgan Brennan on, Spina's, on China's ambitions in space. Two, one, ignition. Lift off. A new space race is upon us. A competition between China and the U.S. This is a race to establish permanent presence. Uh, in low Earth orbit and the moon. And as of today, China seems to be winning that particular race. America has cooperated with Russia in space since the end of the Cold War. But as the former head of NASA explains, with China, it's different. They are deliberately and aggressively uh, pursuing a very robust space agenda. Tonight's launch is the country's first crewed flight in nearly five years. Sending three astronauts to the space station it's building as it seeks to become a major spacefaring power by 2030. Under President Xi, space has become an issue of comprehensive national power. So China has risen up to the fact that space is important for not just commercial capacities, but also military command and control, missile tracking, independent navigation. But it isn't doing it alone. Russian technology is helping forge the way something President Vladimir Putin discussed recently with NBC News. We have been working and will continue to work with China, which applies to all kinds of programs, including exploring deep space. I think there is nothing but positive information here. Frankly, I don't see any contradictions here. The milestones are mounting. Last month, China became the second country to put a rover on Mars. And two years ago, it landed the first spacecraft on the far side of the moon, with plans to now put people there as well, something the U.S. and its allies are also working to do. We want to see commercial industry really take, take the reins here and move forward. This is a race for sure, um, but we are ahead. What we have to make sure we do is we stay ahead. 240 men and women of various nationalities have over the past two decades visited the International Space Station, but because of U.S. law, none have ever been Chinese. So tonight's launch will be the third of 11 missions that China has planned to complete its own orbiting habitat, and it comes as questions loom about the ISS, which is set to be retired as soon as 2024. Shep? Morgan Brennan, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.